All right, folks, so I'm going to start this off with a kind of a tour of the outhouse. This is a four by four by seven outhouse, and uh, we made it with what was this? Now, five eighths inch siding. We have three by three quarter, I think, on this right here, as far as trim goes. We use galvanized nails because that's going to hold up in this weather. And we have a aluminum roof on top, which we also, you know, put boards under. We've got the antler handle, you know, great. And now we got the door that could hold out a bear if need be. You know, it's a very solid door. Wrench door. And if we come inside here, you will see my custom TP holder, you know, toilet seat, and uh, yeah. That is the tour. Now I'm going to show you how we built it, okay? So that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back about four months and I'm going to show you how we built it, okay? Yeah. So let's do that. Currently going to be assembling a 4x4 outhouse out of complete rough sawn lumber. And uh, that's what we're doing today. So we got uh, the makings for a wall right here. There's the floor right there. There's the rest of the build. Some of that stuff's just kind of scrap. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. everyone to day two of the build. So what we got going here, this is all of our uh, lumber that we milled from the other day. We've got the senior dog here. Hi. This is going to be our siding. So that's exciting. Beautifully notched. Also, what I'm thinking about doing today is getting the roof done and getting the rest of the siding ready and maybe getting a little spot where you, uh, you know, get the hole cut and then get the spot where you kind of sit down to do business.
All right, folks, so we're over here. We're starting to slide over here. Would you look at this, folks? All homemade and handmade. <laughs> So I've marked out the hole here. So what I did is I uh, traced the inside here, and then I took my very DIY do-it-yourself pencil thing to extend it out about a half inch. folks so now we've cut the uh, hole here I just said uh, throw on the toilet seat because hey why not just to give you a little bit of an example and basically the uh, you know it's up there goes down there got to fix up this a little bit it's kind of got a bad paint job here anyways so yep that's done so now basically we're gonna sand the inside and then give it a bit of stain sand this down a little bit to get be able to repaint that along with some other stuff and uh, yeah Alright, so we got this bead all cleaned up. We'll be restaining this top nice and cleanly and then staining that inside ring at least. And then this will be ready to go. Then also we have to stain the floor. So, yep, gotta get all my things out of here now. Alright, so here's our uh, before and we'll grab an after once we're done. And here, folks, we have the after shot. That's what it looks like after it's been well stained. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you like the video, maybe consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. So this is an outhouse build that I did start about four months ago. And it just got put on the freshly dug hole here. And uh, I just want to show you guys kind of how we uh, built Sorry, it. Sorry, wait, say it again. The Don't freshly say freshly dug. dug. It's freshly dug. It's, it's Don't a freshly say it. Dug. I'm going to start laughing. Okay, go ahead. Come on. Okay.